Hi, my name is Tim, and in this video, I'm going to guide you through the proper troubleshooting process to diagnose a faulty auxiliary heat relay on the heat pump simulator. Now, air-to-air -air heat pumps are going to require auxiliary or supplemental heat when the capacity of the heat pump cannot keep up with the heat loss from the building, and this generally occurs when it gets very cold outside. Now, the thermostat is set up so that if the space temperature falls two degrees below the set point, it will activate the second stage heat or auxiliary heat and turn on a bank of electric heaters. We're gonna begin at the thermostat and turn it to call for heat. So click on the selector switch. This will also turn up the temperature setting of the thermostat. Next, we're gonna to need to refer to the procedure guide at the top, click OK. Next, let's take a brief inventory of which electrical loads are running. So we're going to begin at the indoor blower motor or indoor fan motor, and we can see that as evidenced by the spinning blue arrows that this is running, so we're going to click OK and click Yes. Next, we're going to proceed to the outdoor unit and check the compressor and the outdoor fan motor. Now, from the spinning blue arrows, we can tell that the compressor is running, but we're going to remove the cover here. So just click on it, the cover will come off, and we can clearly see that both the outdoor fan motor as well as the compressor are both running. So we can go back to the procedure guide and click yes that the outdoor fan's running and yes that the compressor's running. Now, even though all loads are running, we're not keeping up with the temperature in the space, so we're going to need to investigate the heaters. Now begin by taking the cover off the unit and accessing the control panel. Click OK on the procedure guide, and we're going to check the current draw of the electric heaters. And this can be done anywhere on these black wires leading to the auxiliary heat relay, which is right here. So in other words, the heaters are fed off these top connections, these two black wires, and these wires over here continue up to the heater connections. So we're gonna place the clamp on ammeter at the glowing orange hotspot and measure the current draw of the heaters. And when we do this, we see that we've got zero amps. So our heaters are not drawing current. Now, what does this lead us to? Well, let's take out the wiring diagram and take a quick look at it. The low voltage diagram, well, if you take a look, we have our auxiliary heat relay right here, which is gonna turn the electric heaters on. So it's possible we have a bad relay coil in the auxiliary heat relay. It's also possible that there's a malfunction in the thermostat, and the thermostat is not sending 24 volts out of this W2 terminal, which again is the, the second stage heat, to that auxiliary heat relay coil. So that's two possible causes. And now let's look at the line voltage diagram. And when we look at that, we can see our auxiliary heat relay right here, um, AHR. We also have the heater itself right in the middle. So we don't have a whole lot of possible causes here. We've either got the relay, the heater itself, or possibly the W2 function or second stage function of the thermostat. So now that we've determined that the heater is not drawing current, our next step is to click no on the procedure guide and we're going to take some voltage readings. I think the first step, logically, is to measure for 24 volts at the auxiliary heat relay coil. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This would be the white and blue wires here in the center. This is the auxiliary heat relay in the center. So I'm going to slide the meter over and we're going to measure for 24 volts. This will verify if, in fact, the thermostat is sending 24 to the coil of that relay. And when we drop the meter leads on the glowing orange hotspots, we do in fact have 24 volts. Now this eliminates the thermostat as a possible cause here. Now our next step is to measure for line voltage coming to the auxiliary heat relay. And these would be these two bottom connections, the red and black wire. We just want to make sure we don't have a loose connection in one of the wire nuts with the main feed or the main voltage going to this relay. So we're going to place our meter leads at the two glowing orange hotspots. And when we do this, we have 240 volts coming in. So we have power to the relay. We have power to its coil. And after clicking yes that we've measured 240 in the procedure guide, we're going to measure for load side voltage or at the top. In other words, this is going to verify that the contacts are actually closing within the relay. We're just going to move our meter leads over to the top side of this auxiliary heat relay. And when we do this, we have zero volts which verifies that the contacts are open within the relay. Now this, this indicates that the auxiliary heat relay is faulty. Now we don't know if it's possibly the coil is open 
or we just have a poor armature or jammed up armature in the relay and the contacts aren't pulling in. But because this is a disposable relay, it's not repairable, it's not going to be necessary uh, to determine whether it's the coil or the contacts. We're going to just simply change the relay out. So after clicking no on the procedure guide, we're going to simply click on the auxiliary heat relay and replace it. And when we do this, this solves our problem. Now after clicking OK on the procedure guide, we need to go back and turn the power back on and make sure that all loads are functioning properly. I would also pull the filter, give a little added value for the customer, and make sure the filter's clean. And if it's not, replace it as if necessary. So we're going to click OK. Our last step is to go to the residence and verify that warm air is being received up at the register here. And we can see that it is based on this red graphic. Now, if you want to review any of these steps in this procedure, click this top left icon. And each step that we just took in the process comes up here in a step-by-step -step basis. Good luck on all your future service calls, and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. You can try our on-demand VR-enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.